Okay, hey everybody. Welcome back to another reaction to another um special program. You already know Genshin. Um recently, obviously today, Friday, they dropped their um um 5.1 special program. And y'all already know I'll be doing. We can get into it. It's only 30 minutes what it looks like. And also to y'all <clears throat> Since I will be uploading this today, or wait, wait, what? Do I have this Saturday or today? I forget what <laughs> I usually wait because obviously I'm not streaming, y'all. Because I usually do this like all this. I used to do, used to. I usually do this live, but since I've been sick the past when it started, I started to get sick around Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And still going on, I'm still sick. So two, three days, but it was really bad Wednesday and Thursday. But th um, today, Friday, I started feeling a lot better, <laughs> especially energy-wise. I, I my energy's back. But Tuesday, that one, that was my last stream, which was um, me playing Sims. I uh, <clears throat> my throat started hurting. I was like, it, it's coming, it's coming. And also, y'all can hear it in my voice, like my nose. So it's not that. Yeah, I was start I was already starting Tuesday before like it really hit me. Started to feel um groggy and all that. But now I was I'm recovering, didn't stream nothing all at all. So usually as I said these usually I used to do this live. But I'm not I'm recording it for the first not first time. Not the first time recording a reaction? Not reaction. Um a yeah, reaction to five to the special program. I I, cause I know I recorded me pulling, doing pulling sessions. If I don't um, stream them, and then uh, make them into videos, I know I did that. But I don't know if I did um some of the programs recording them. But yeah, but I'm have to since I didn't. I didn't have the energy though. I still want to um, get rest. I didn't have the energy to do a whole live stream, but I had a, I had enough energy to do um a recording now. <laughs> so I had to be. Uh, for, uh, too long. As I said, it's only the uh, special program is only thirty minutes, but y'all know me yamming, talking, and all that. It'll be, but I ain't gonna be. I, I'm, just, I'm about to say I'm not gonna be doing that much talking, but oh, here and there. But only thirty minutes. I did look a little sneak peek of the uh, special program. It's not by the dev because usually, um, f um, the uh, like last time and for Fontaine five point oh, obviously it's with the devs. Cause you got a new region and then 5.1 is usually the devs again talking but this time it's not the devs talking or any of the um vas for the characters which interesting so yeah some it's some um other guys we y'all gonna see a little bit i say i ain't watched too, i only like seen a little bit because i was like i thought it would be devs talking but it's not the devs so i'm like oh okay man that's like all i know and like see a slush be 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 But yeah, but but before I was, uh before we obviously get into it, you already know if y'all wanna um see me live whenever I be well whenever I go live well when I get back into going well, streaming which obviously will be next week because I'm starting to feel better all my um streaming stuff well when I stream on the Twitch on the um Twitchy Twitch you can go in the description below you already know and also too if you wanna watch it on the tube say it on here obviously. You can um follow here as well, and whenever I uh, well, if you uh yeah follow whenever I go live, you'll get the notification hopefully. But also to my socials, I'll let y'all know when I go live on them as well, because I know sometimes it's a little iffy with the notifications on the tube and the Twitch. So socials, you always you always know when I go live and all that. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get into the um special program. <laughs> I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind, so Auroron was indeed being threatened. Let's load in! Great go, Malika. We're already off to a rocky start here. Also, uh, that's how um Zel um Zelonin sounds. Well, we'll see how. Like, hopefully, that's how you say her name. Well, we, they gonna say it. 
and um, especially from her grandma. But she looks so cute. A baddie. She gorgeous. Come on, legs. Bring it. She's like a DJ. That leg work, y'all. That leg work. Don't play with it. Don't play with her. Brave memes that go. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. Oh wait, go back. To... Oh, that's the um, the, um, gnosis, the py um, pyro, gnosis. Oh, okay, that's how it looks. His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. A new boss, let's see. So my guest, Zelone, will be needing these materials to level up. <laughs> of course. In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. A land without the Lord of the Night, Ooh? without the protection of the wolves, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Charms! Let's give them everything we've got! Oh, wow. Oh, we are legit getting a whole um war. Act like an actual one <laughs> gonna be happening in 5.1. <coughs> and again, Miss Ma'am looking really good up, looking good right here, like, yes. Love her. You must pay the price, and only Mawuka's death can clear the debt. All I wanted was to see- Mawuka's death? Oh no, she had to die? See her again. My end will not come first, and I am not giving up. If I could go back, I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You've experienced something similar, Malika. You should know exactly what I mean. Oh, she was having her um Super Saiyan moment right there again. So yeah, five point one Archon Quest gonna be looking very fulfilling, very fulfilling, very action packed. And wait. My music. Oh yeah, these codes gonna be gone. <laughs> oh yeah, as me recording this right now, y'all, I haven't put these codes in. Let me do this right now. <laughs> okay, I got the code. Oh no. <laughs> the apple juice went down the wrong pipe. Our little buddy! Love him. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. Woo. My name is Gabe, and I'm from the Genshin Impact localization team. And I'm Kai. I'm also from the Loke team. And oh, so these are the people from the um, localization team doing the um, special program. I say, y'all, I don't know what's going on with the... Uh, um, wait, what am I about to say? Um, I said, I thought it would be the... um. Devs and all that, but I'm like, oh, I'll just, uh, okay. And we'll be your hosts for today's program. We're usually translating Genshin Impact behind the scenes, so it's an honor to talk about the latest update. I'm pretty stoked about what's coming in version 5.1. Totally. I'm sure that everyone else is just as excited to find out about the new update. Then let's give them what they've been waiting for. Yeah. First up, Shilonen will be our new player. 
Shalona. That's how, okay. So we were saying her name right, y'all. Shalona. Oh, she is. So, oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for my baddie, my queen. She looks so gorgeous, y'all. So pretty. Evil character in version 5.1. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Shalonen has a lot going on. Where should we start? Yeah, we should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith from the Children of Echoes, one of Natland's six tribes. She forges all kinds of goods, like jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. Oh, wow. She's, um, oh, okay. <laughs> you name it, and she'll make it. Cool. We've already seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's Drill Turbo Twirly. Oh, she did that? She made the sunglasses and twirly. Oh, wow. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Wow, she's forged so many creations. <laughs> yeah, and they're all really varied. She commands so much respect in Natland, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. What's her secret? Shilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. Zalonen speaking facts, speaking true facts. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. Mm -hmm. That's why she believes that it's important to take breaks. So what does she do during her time off? Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing that before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Yeah. Oh, I like how they broke it out. Because I was legit about to say, we've seen her do that in um, the teaser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Queen, same. 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 Oh, yeah. That's a popular pastime in her tribe, right? Absolutely. See those earpieces in her ears? Mm -hmm. They actually connect to a record player. Cool. Oh, now she had um, AirPods. Come on. <laughs> She made them so that she could listen to music during her work breaks, and the musical beats help her keep up a steady forging rhythm. They're pretty handy. Wow, it seems like her skill set is really convenient. <laughs> mm-hmm. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. Great. Ooh, she looks so good in endgame. Ooh, she looks so pretty, so pretty in game now. Ooh, she's seen her Night Souls Blessing attire. Cool. Yeah. Wow, she makes climbing look so easy. Yeah, she can even stop in the middle of her climb and not her can just ch not her just chilling on the side of the mountain like that. Taking the surrounding view. Nice. I bet she finds a lot of inspiration that way. For sure. When she finds something interesting, she immediately- oh, Wait, go back to her eyes? Go back to her eyes. Finds a lot of inspiration that way. For sure. When she finds something- it The lashes, the eyes, y'all. Y'all cannot say y'all don't want her. Like, she is so, like, uh, gorgeous. And the eye makeup, uh, just- Yes. Interesting, she immediately springs into action. Oh, she's intense. Speaking of intense, let's discuss her battle mechanics. Yes. Shilonen uses special equipment in combat, too. See those three objects next to her? They look like gems, right? Well, those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Whoa, those are super shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default, but their element will change when you add Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters to your party. Of course, never Dendro. Yeah, never, um, what the other one? Dendro. Well, they already Geo, because she's Geo, but yeah, no Dendro element will change when you add Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters to your party. For example, <laughs> if Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to Hydro damage. Oh, oh okay, that reduces their 
resistance to hydro damage. Oh, okay. Well, how do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby enemies. Okay, I think I understand her kit now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there are at least two different Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters in your party. Two different Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, Electro characters in your party. Two different. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's Blessing state and max out her Night Soul points. Exactly. These skills allow her to reduce multiple types of elemental resistance. Of course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh, really? Oh, so she does more damage with a lot of um, Geo characters. Okay, that's good. So we can either use her as a, um, as a damage dealer as a, uh, instead of a support. So she can work both ways in a way. <laughs> like that. Like that. Cause I got a, I got a lot. Of, I, I've been building my my geo, my geo um characters a lot. So I'm like definitely be using her like that. Cause I want to see my girlie on field constantly as well. So I'm like yes. But also I'll be using her with support, uh, well, with support as well too. So it can work both ways. <clears throat> really, Shilonen also has a talent that should be helpful for exploring that land. When Shilonen is in your party. Triggering a night soul transfer for exp Wait, let me see her um entrance. Exploring that land. When Shilonin is in your Look at my entrance. Yes. Party. Triggering a night soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Shilonin's elemental burst deals AoE Wait, set amount of phlogiston. Soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Oh, okay. Cool. Shilonen's elemental burst deals AoE Geo damage, and if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. Oh, okay, healer. Okay, she can do support and <laughs> the damage as well. Okay. All right, that's all we have for Shilonen's skills. Yep. Oh, I forgot to mention something important. What is it? <laughs> ancient names. Shilonen inherited the art of ancient name forging. The Pyro Archon even appointed her to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Yes! Ancient names record the deeds of Natlin's heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something like that. Exactly. Natlan cherishes its ancient names. Few have the honor of being recognized by past heroes, and even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1 to learn more about Shilonen and ancient name forging. We definitely will be playing that on stream. <laughs> Zappidly. And just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primo gems and level up materials by completing Shilonen's Tribal Chronicle during version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the Traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we gonna see since this is a whole thing. So you already know Archon quests, Act 3 and Act 4, woo 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 woo, uh, coming. So we will be tackling this also again live when I be streaming. <laughs> you already know, I already said it in the beginning of the, uh, beginning of the video. Twitchy. Description and of course, if you follow the tube, the, um, YouTube, you um can catch me live since I multi stream on both on both the places. Y'all y'all catch it live here as well. So yeah, the traveler is an outlander, so their adventures in Netland aren't recorded in the Night Kingdom. If those deeds aren't recorded, then it's going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient name for the traveler. Yeah, no wonder the Power Archon said nobody's ever done it before. Uh, of course, we just we just gotta like that. We we just love being <laughs> making things real difficult. <laughs> During the version 5.1 Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. We gotta override the system. We'll also get the chance to meet Sitlali. 
Oh, see Lali. From the Masters of the Nightwind. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub, so she might be able to turn the tides in our favor. Not her facial expression. What's that? Yes. Of course, the Traveler's ancient name won't be the only obstacle. The threat of the Abyss remains, and it seems like Auroran, a mysterious member of the Masters of the Nightwind, is working on a secret plan. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, he got two different color eyes. Oh, okay. Um, what's her name? My, uh, my queen, um, Candace. She will be candy. Ooh. There's so much to look forward to. Travelers can also earn extra primo gems from- Oh, he's Electro, of course. <laughs> His um vision right there. <laughs> this Archon quest, right? <laughs> You're exactly right. Just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn an extra 500 primo gems if they complete the Natlan Archon quest Act 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. But that's not all. Extra rewards will also be available for exploring Natlan during version 5.1. Travelers can earn a total of 400 extra Primo Gems by completing related world quests and increasing Natlan exploration progress. Oh, this is new. Okay. Give people more an incentive to explore. Uh, oh, not the sneezing attack. <laughs> Give people more of an incentive to um, explore and all that. Travelers who already reach the required amount of progress in version 5.0 can directly claim the rewards during the new version. But oh. don't worry if you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That means you will have all of version 5.1 and 5.2 to satisfy the conditions and claim the rewards. Yes. Can we expect similar rewards to become available as the map expands in future updates? You bet. Limited time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Natlan areas. Yes. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That way, travelers should have enough time to explore the new maps and claim those extra Primo Gems. Each version comes with a ton of activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. We should give the travelers an example. No problem. In version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture phlogiston aphids. It's not as simple as I make it sound though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally large. Uh -oh. Wow, is nothing safe from abyssal corrosion? Natlin's really going through a tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, the corrosion levels are still reversible. Start by unleashing attacks with your characters, then use Shilonin's insect net to break their shields. Once the surrounding shields are down, travelers can purify the abyssal energy inside of them. Elsewhere in Natlan, travelers who venture into a specific underground cavern will New discover buffs. a secret source automaton that was left behind by a lost civilization. The secret source constructor awaits all challengers. If you manage to beat this new boss, then you can earn special materials. I bet Shilonen would love to get her hands on the parts of that automaton. Mm, I bet she would. How else she, how else she's gonna um, level up if she don't get them? <laughs> See what they did there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we introduced our new character and the new boss. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. In the first half of version 5.1, travelers can look for <clears throat> I was drinking. Right the Geo Baddies. The Geo this is a Geo Baddie. What'd you say? What is it called? <laughs> the Geo Baddie, um. Um a what event wish um banner. Very much. We got two Geo Baddies. Chiori and Shalonen, I love both of them. Love, I use my Chiori, she, amazing, love her. And Shalonen, like, yes, yes, yes. I love it, I love it. I did say, whenever um 
whenever I'm sh sure we can start a uh, rerun, I wanted to get her least C1, but I won't be able to since she's running with Shalonan and I obviously will be getting Shalonan. So I'm like, damn, I gotta wait to her next rerun, rerun to get like, because I want at least one copy. Her like C1, because I know she, with her C1, I think she puts down two of her, um, of her, what's her call up? Uh, Tomotos. She puts, without having a, um, Geo Construct. And I, I wanted that, but I'm like, it's, it's okay. I can wait to, whenever she can start rerun, rerun. To, um, get her C1. But obviously, you already know, that's it. She alone, she's coming home. And I do want to pull on the weapon banner for um Shilonen or Chiori, since <laughs> I'll be happy to lose to both with either of their weapons. If I get Shiori's weapon, I can obviously put on her. Or obviously Shilonen, she get her like Seiki as well. So I'm like, yeah, so I definitely will be pulling on the weapon banner for these two. Since their weapons are obviously both, could be used for both of each other. Since she, I think... Showing goes off with defense as well. So I'm like, it'll work both ways. But obviously, yeah, I'll be using a weapon on the specific character. Or to event wishes for Shilonen and Chiori. A new five star. Look at her, Siggy. Speaking of her weapon, look at that, Siggy. So pretty. So pretty. Sword Peak Patrol Song will be featured on the weapon banner. And in the second half of version 5.1. <gasps> My G, my, I must say Geo Archon. What my um Dendro Archon? She's gonna her rerun, and with um Hu Tao. Uh, luckily phase two. I don't have to um. I can say my primos. Obviously, I already got my Nihita. Obviously, she was my first. For people who don't know, Nihita was my first Archon. Out of all the um Archons we have now, she was my first one. So I'm like. And also, too, she got a special place in my heart because I love her so much. Uh, if you can't tell, she's my favorite out of all the archons. I love her. <laughs> and also, too, she's a Scorpio because her, her birthday is so close to mine because obviously mine's on Halloween, October 31st. And her, she is so... I forgot. Is she like on the 29th? I think... Let me see real quick. My correction. Her birthday is on October 27th, not 29th. 27th. So she's so close to my birthday. So I'm just like... <laughs> when I remember when they um first obviously introduced Nahida, I was like... <laughs> When they, um her birthday, I was like, oh, I was like, it was so close to my. It's like she's like so close to my birthday. I was like, ah, it's meant to be, me or her. So I'm like, yeah. So again, my Scorpio queen, Dendro queen. Like I love her. So I'm like, we are bonded to the hip. I love my, love my Nahida. And Hu Tao, it would lovely. I would love to get Hu Tao, but I'm not like pressed to get her. I'm not like that crazy. So I'm like, eh. even though I do want to try to get all the characters at least, but uh, Hu Tao. I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, but phase two, I can save my primos. <laughs> we'll have returning event wishes for Nahida and Hu Tao. Yes, and new four-star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during version 5.1. Oh. oh. We got new weapons? <laughs> oh, wait, that weapon right there. Well, not that one. Not the um, Claymore, the pull arm. <gasps> I think didn't we see that one? I think I see, I think we seen that one that um um Kachina was using in the uh, cutscene. I think if I'm correct, I'm like I we seen that pull arm. I was like oh I was like where she get that one at? We get it now. Okay, okay. Keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Oh, I can't wait. Wait, will they be the phase one banners? I feel like I, I think they. They didn't say they're going to be a phase one with Shilonen or Chiori or phase two with Nahida and Hu Tao. Or did they? But it's about... Let me back it up. About time. Four star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during version 5.1. 5. They say which phase. Okay. Keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Oh, I can't wait. But it's about time for our first break. See you soon, travelers. See you soon. Oh, this is lovely art of Shalonen. Or her skates. Come on, queen. Oh yeah, let me write. Let me get this code down. <laughs> I 
I got it. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone can figure out where we're at. Oh, oh, I'm like, wait, why went to Meru? Oh, <coughs> we're back here. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. Things are looking really festive. That's because we're celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. Wait, what? Wait, I was just speaking of her birthday. Wait, what? I still remember how the Subzeros festival kept repeating during the Archon quest two years ago. Don't remind us. It was it was torture, but at the same time, fun in a way. <laughs> but Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the. Sa As I said, them sages can choke and die. I would not blink an eye. Choke on the biggest, biggest something. Those sages, all of them, who was involved, who knew. I know. I think there were some like sages who didn't, or who wasn't like approving of that, if I'm correct. But all the ones I know, they can got. They they can they oof, oof them sages oof. <clears throat> Sanctuary of Sorastana. Right, and Nahida's character teaser was so sad. It was. Girl was just born, and then immediately kid not you know, kidnapped and trapped. By uh, the sage, the sages. I was like, really? Especially during that third instance of when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. The sudden change of music was so heart wrenching. It was definitely. The traveler really helped out by exposing the academia and yeah, for the foolishness it was. Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all feel like she deserves a true birthday celebration, she right? Do. Yeah, she absolutely. do. Yeah, absolutely. So, in the version 5.1 <gasps> event, Chromatic Ode of Candies and Roses, travelers will get the chance to give Nahida the birthday celebration that she deserves. This, y'all, I love this already. I love this event. We're gonna give Nahida the birthday she deserves. Oh, I love it. Look at her. She's so precious. Oh my god! I cannot wait for this event. I cannot wait. <clears throat> oh my um <laughs> voice acting up because I'm just so I'm I'm so happy. We're gonna give her her birthday that she always wanted, and they all see the Aranaras as well. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and also too, we get a free candy as well. So the people who don't have their um candy, y'all get extra. Y'all get a candy for people who already got Candace, and obviously you get her consolation. She got it. But, oh, but I'm I'm super excited for this event. Just cannot wait. We're gonna be seeing her. I I can't we I can't wait to hear her voice again. And also any other art and and also to our other Sumeru friends as well. Okay, with to see them, hear them, but I cannot wait for Nahida. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, finally. Yeah, actually, I have a few screenshots that I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a please show me sneak peek at this Subzeru's festival? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, that's a lot of people. Oh, not really. <laughs> so we're talking to Candy, we're talking to Dia, we're talking to Tainari. And you talk to um Kole. So are we huddling up and playing something for um Nahida? It looks like they're secretly discussing something. This year, the Academia is organizing a birthday celebration unlike any other. Oh, the Academia. Okay. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. <laughs> Better. Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special surprise for Nahida. Yo, I'm gonna be squealing and just losing my mind when we get to this event. I'm gonna just be losing my mind. And I cannot wait, because I'm already losing my mind right now. I'm thinking about it, like we just played in Nahida's birthday. Yes. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see her reaction. I can't wait. I'm gonna I'm lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I already know I'm gonna lose it. I'm going to lose it. I'm losing it right now, as I said. But I'm going to stream lose it when she act, when we get her reaction. Ah, oh. 
We cannot. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. Well, tell that the Paimon. That's who we gotta worry about, Paimon. Not them all doing a little shh. Okay, I see a little pretty little liar moment. It's like shh. But I, we get to see more of Candy as well. I cannot, cause she's usually in the desert, but she's in Port Ormos, or, or Ormos, I think is where they at. And I'm like, she's usually in the desert. So I'm like, surprise. But yeah, but I can't wait to see all of them again. And also any other of our friends in Sumeru. I'm gonna run into all hate them, Kave. Sino, who else? Farazan, Layla, who else I'm missing? Dory, Dinyarzad, Dinyarzad definitely. I'm thinking about Dinyarzad. <laughs> Oh, I'm just thinking, like, any other Sumeru? I feel like I'm forgetting some other people's. Oh, the Wanderer. <laughs> Whoa. There are probably some other ones I'm, like, forgetting, but I feel like I named a significant amount of our Sumeru friends. Oof. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, but hopefully I aimed everybody. <laughs> so don't give it away, travelers. The flower carriage is another important part of <gasps> Subzeru's festival. This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. Oh, that so way, cute. it can go off with. <gasps> of course. Okay, so we do see flowers on and we see Kave. Okay, okay. We see the. We know Kave. I think, I wonder. Uh, well, he is an architect. So I'm like, of course, he built that? If I'm making it correctly. Or if flowers not probably helped? Without a hitch. That's so nice of them. And the Traveler will serve as the Knight of Fly- <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's so big. Wait, I thought it was like a little miniature one. They made a big one. <gasps> it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at that. And that's for our our our, our princess, our queen. Is she gonna be in there? Oh my God. Y'all, I'm losing it already. I'm losing it so pretty. Oh flowers during the real parade, escorting the carriage along the route. Wow. And we gonna be her like night? Oh, of course we are, because we could be loving it. <laughs> so the traveler is like Nahida's protector. Yes, we are. Ten toes down, ten toes deep. Yes, we are. Yeah, it looks like the Aranara are also involved in the festival. Oh, they gonna be helping for her as well. That's so cute. If you want to learn more about this year's Subzerus Festival, including the birthday surprise, then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1. Oh, I cannot wait for this event. Yo, I'm excited for this event. It's time to make some- Out of everything, that's gonna be obviously the Archon Quest. I'm excited about that. But after the Archon Quest, um, I'm like, when we're getting this? When is this, when is this coming? After the Archon Quest, I need to know about this event when it's gonna be starting because i cannot wait <laughs> memories sweeter than candied agile knock nuts travelers can also look forward to different types of gameplay during the event oh, like remember what? the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot travelers can take it for a spin during the event rocking carriage oh that's a cute animation the goal is to control the direction of the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible Collect blessings along the way, and you'll be able to obtain a higher score. That's nice. Cute. In the second event, in a reflection of reality and dreams, travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, search for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Oh, this is a neat one too, to play on the whole dream aspect, all that. Oh, so it's like a spot the difference game. Yeah. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> in the third event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. I would love to do that. Yes, of course. We, have, we always have to. We always have to. Have a, <laughs> we always have to have a beat 'em up portion. Earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. 
You can even increase your performance level and earn buffs by satisfying special conditions during the challenge. Ah, uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha! Ha! Oh, wow. Looks like someone's excited for the Subzerus Festival. Oh, wait. Damn, we can see um Shilodin's damage. Not Shilodin. Yeah, yeah, no, that's her name. <laughs> I thought it said Shiori. We can see her damage a little bit here. Ah, uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha! Ha! Oh, wow. Looks like someone's excited for the Subzerus Festival. I hope travelers feel the same way. Hey. Oh, I, oh, that might have been um, Farina, <laughs> her, her, um, her three helpers damage a little bit. But I was like, I was like, thought she only really doing some damage. I think she probably was. Yeah, I'm sure they will. In addition to Nahida's birthday mm -hmm. celebration, version 5.1 offers other exciting events. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool. Each challenge comes with unique buffs. Use them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. You'll find oh, this again. tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. In Reminiscent Regimen Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. Each challenge will feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. You can give your team an advantage by choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. It's all about optimizing your teamwork. <laughs> Absolutely. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Envisaged Echoes challenges will also be added in version 5.1. Travelers will now be able to obtain echoes for Zhongli and Keqing. Whoa, Zhongli's echo is really cool. Oh, Keqing's echo is also beautiful. She leaves a trail of flowers behind her. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement for our other updates. During version 5.1, a few familiar faces will also be added to Genius Invocation TCG. We can't have none without having uh, We can't have. <laughs> I don't think they have a special program now without hearing G Genius Invocation TCG, but we have some without Genius Invocation, Genius Invocation TCG, I think. I don't know. But she always added to it. I love it. Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. It There's is. even the Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Wait, do you mean... Ooh. That's right. Lieben will be back in version 5.1. Lieben? What are you going to be talking about? One, just like always, travelers can exchange their items for primo gems and level up materials. I even heard that Natlin specific materials will be available during his latest visit. Awesome. Yeah. That should be all for the version 5.1 events. That means it's about time for our second break. You got it. We'll be right back, travelers. Last code, y'all. But yeah, y'all, I'm so excited for Nahida. Yo, I'm going to be losing my mind when I, when I when we get to play it. I'm just losing my ever losing my mind. Because she deserved the best birthday ever. Oh, the music. I just now realized music's Miru. Cute little flower crown. Welcome back, travelers. It's time to jump into the system optimizations. Oh, okay. First up, a skip feature will be added to the Spiral Abyss. This change allows you to skip Floor 9 in the new update if you obtain full stars on Floor 11 of the previous Spiral Abyss. Obtaining full stars on Floor 12 will allow you to skip both Floor 9 and Floor 10. Hopefully, this change will create a smoother experience. That sounds so convenient. 
Yeah, I know, right? Just as a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. But floor rewards such as domain reliquaries will be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral Abyss interface. Interesting. In addition, you can now open multiple domain reliquaries at once. Nice! We don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah! Continuing with more optimizations, the filtering and sorting logic of the character artifact interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single time. You can also sort by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also be saved. That will make it a lot easier to filter artifacts for each character. Totally. The character ascension mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. A feature will also be added to the crafting bench that allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. Oh, that is really, that's going to be neat. And also, yo, right now, just as I'm recording this, my ear just popped to my right side. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, snap. I can hear out my ear now. Love that. <laughs> this will allow you to easily view and craft the number of materials that you need. Now, you don't have to calculate the required materials and quantities in advance. You can do all of that at the crafting bench. That is amazing. This is very helpful. Because every time you have to always, like, make sure or you, like, missed or you forgot, suddenly, you got, it's all there now. We can, like, do it, from, do it from the crafting bench. That's amazing. Version 5.1 will also be adding other small optimizations. Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. All right, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns four years old tomorrow. We've had an incredible journey so far, right? Four years old! Let's see where this path has taken us. It's time to relive some amazing memories. Let's do it. <laughs> Not Hydro Traveler. Oh wow. Okay, Electro Traveler. Eat him up. Sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's cloudy, that's what journey me can't see. The scene ahead's blurry, but we still must pursue the dream. Travel through the heights and shallows, put on a sturdy shell to face the harbor. Shining bright in the deep night Stand up to find many times and know it's wrong or right The scars will finally Do not fear The wrong will take care The honor is our problem To go gentle in the good night The day I want to seize Comes with the green Doll blade, I see. <laughs> Travel through infinite dust and noise, break through the strong tide to reach the other side. I hear about your last trace. Not them playing that, um. 
Kakata? Kakata. I forgot the robot name. I forgot his name. You Let me see it. Not them showing this. Not them showing this. My heart. Tear up every time a little bit. Karkata, Karkata, I think that's it. I forgot it, it, this cutie's name. He was trying to bring back his um creator. I think his creator. I'm sure. But he couldn't bring him back. It was my heart. Not them showing that. Him trying to put the pieces on. Stop! My heart. I don't want to bring it. It was precious. My heart. Uh. Some Flame. Here's to four years of Genshin Impact. Wait, before we continue, that was so beautiful. Seeing all our like previous adventures and all that, the past memory, passing memories, that was so cute, precious. I loved it. I was just sitting here just in awe, just like, oh, we, we did all that from Mondstadt to Liwe to Inazuma to Sumeru to Fontaine and now in that land. <clears throat> and now in that land, just all. <laughs> Just the memories, truly. Packed. Hey, happy birthday! <laughs> wow, it's already been four years. Four years. Where's yeah. the time gone? It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. Mm -hmm. There's that fight against Storm Terror, the Battle of the Jade Chamber, mm -hmm. Nahida saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka Devada. My heart still is crying a little bit about that. Uh... I wonder what she ever remember. <laughs> As if we um oh. <laughs> I dropped some, but if y'all remember recall, she like feel like something like she's forgetting something like the emptiness or something, and obviously the traveler remembers. Pama even forgot obviously about Rukunavada, but obviously because we're not of this world, we don't remember. Well, we we do remember her, but everybody else obviously she wiped herself off the face of the earth and all that. So <laughs> we remember, but I wonder will we ever like tell her or like she finds out and wears something about Rukunavata, Rukunavata, Rukunavata. But yeah, I wonder, Cause since obviously we still rem remember. But yeah, this scene was my heart too, wrenching. Ugh. The Masquerade of the Guilty. I know, and I'm definitely going to have that song on repeat. <laughs> That's exactly what I did with the Natland Symphony performance. Natland Symphony performance was the culture, the melanation, it was just amazing. It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natland's first OST album, Land of Tleayatl, is about to be released. Ooh, yeah, the Natland um, soundtrack. The album contains three discs featuring 78 original tracks composed for Genshin Impact. Yay, we can finally add Natland's regional soundtrack to our playlist. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hmm. That looks like all the information we have to share. That means it's time for the special program to come to an end. Gonna wrap it up. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? <gasps> yeah, for sure. Well, I think there's so much cool content coming in this version. And hey, come on, fourth anniversary. That's so huge. Yeah. I mean, we've put so much work into this game over the years, and every version has been special, but I gotta say, 5.0, 5.1, these have been great. Exactly. I mean, seriously, Genshin Impact is 
is not only a game to me. It's my work. Mm. It's my life. Right. I play Genshin Impact every day. I talk about Genshin Impact every day, and I interact with players online. It's all these years. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. Totally. So if I have to say something this time, we are truly, truly grateful that you guys, our players, are continue playing this game, and yeah. we are just as excited as you guys for what's coming next in the game. Awesome. Yeah. No, totally agree. That's so great. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye. But no. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support over these past four years. Hope to see you in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and that is it, y'all, for the own special program for 5.1. So much amazingness is coming. And I've excited for it. Oh, not this. That'd be sneezing. But yeah. Archon Quest looks jam packed. Cannot wait to see. Part um three and four is gonna be dropping on the Archon Quest of Natland, so it gonna be looking like it's going some mess is going down, so can't wait to see what happens. So I'm so for, excited for that. Obviously Zelonin, she's amazing. Her playstyle, cannot wait. Baddie, she's coming home. You already know. And of course, the banners for um the phase one, Shalonen and and Shiori, uh, Geo Baddies, the Geo Baddie banner. I calling it for phase one. Love it. Obviously, as I said, getting her Zelonen, and sh I will be pulling on the banner, the um, weapon banner for Shalonen's weapon. I really want to get it. But if I lose it, to, um. Shuri's um weapon, I'll be happy to. <laughs> but yeah. So I can't wait. And also to phase two, Nahida and uh, Hutao, which already have Nahida and Hutao, as I said, um I doubt that. But um <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I need I wanna get her in the future, but I'm like we got characters already coming out. I'm like <sighs> she coming out wrong time. <laughs> but I'll, in the future I'll get her probably. I'll see. Cause I do want to get like Collect all the, like the five stars will be at least. Oh my god! But I'm also too after the Archon Quest and all that. I'm super excited for Nahida's. For, um, we going back to Sumeru for the event for Nahida's birthday, y'all. I'm gonna be losing my mind. As y'all seen throughout the this, um whole special program, I was losing my mind once we found out Nahida is getting her. We have her birthday event. I'm gonna be losing. As I said when I when I be playing it, when I'm when I be I'm streaming it <laughs> for y'all, I'm gonna be losing my mind. And just be like, I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to see her reaction. And also all the mini games are gonna be really cute for it as well. I, I can't. I'm uh I just love y'all as I like, y'all already know I love Nihita so much. So I'm like, she deserves to have a good birthday after the foolishness that the um old sages had her go through. If you play through the Arc the um Sumeru Archon Quest, you know the foolishness. And why the sages could have legit croaked and uh, something would happen for that. I would not bat an eyelash, but Nahida spared them and had them do something well in the desert for some some reason. I don't know, but death truly to them. Death, because how dare you do her like that? <laughs> Caged her up for all the new years. Crazy. But yeah, but she gonna have a good she gonna have an amazing birthday. And I cannot wait to play through that and see her reaction and all that. And it's so it's gonna be so cute. Everyone be helping out and the Aranaras as well. They're gonna be helping it's going to be so cute. I'm going to be just gushing in just so much cheesiness. And I'm just, I can't wait. Cannot wait. And also, too, four years of Genshin. And wow. Four years. I started playing Genshin in 2021, if I'm correct. It came out. The game obviously came out 2020. 2021, I started playing, if I'm correct. Let me see real quick. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, I checked. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. I checked. Yeah, it was 2021 I started playing Genshin. So, yeah, 2021 I started. So, yeah. Four years of this game. I cannot. And next year will be the big five years. So, like, it could be crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, can't wait to see more exciting things happen with um Genshin and all that. 
So yeah, five point one, excited, static, cannot wait. But yeah, but like I said in the beginning of the stream, if y'all want to see me play through five point one, obviously doing an Archon Quest, the events and all that, especially Nahida's event, cannot wait. My um streams on Twitchy Twitch is in um uh, my streaming stuff and all that. My streaming schedule is um in the um description below for y'all. <sighs> As I said, I be uh, I multi stream on the Twitch, which is my main streaming place. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot I had to cut the video, y'all, right there. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I was about um tw Twitch is uh, my main streaming place, but y'all know I multi stream. So Twitch, if you would uh, follow me on there, in the description and also too, I stream on the, the tube as well. So, want well, to see me play through five on one and all that. And my schedule is in the description below as well. So yeah, all my stuff, streaming stuff, when I be going live and all that, description for y'all. And what else? Oh, and my socials when I let, because I, I let y'all know when I go live on them as well. Because I know Twitch and YouTube sometimes with notifications can be a little rocky. So socials down there as well for y'all. So yeah. So until the next reaction to um, another special program, because I know whoever has got a lot of games and I be do I be playing them, so it could be more obviously special programs and all that I'll be reacting to. So yeah, until then, bye bye y'all.